Ladies and gentlemen, we have a huge problem on our hands. And this problem is affecting everyone. Not just those major retailers like Walmart and Target that are seeing higher amounts of criminal activity, Apple stores being raided by thieves, folks. This battle, this fight is coming to home, okay? This is going to affect us all in negative ways. Stay tuned to find out more. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Kevin, K-E-V-I-N in all caps. We've got some very important information that we need to discuss today. And much like I have brought you guys updates and information and warnings in the past, this one needs to be taken very seriously, especially for those who rely on employment by major retailers like Walmart and Target and Apple and Best Buy and all these stores that have expensive inventory at a time where the economy and people are basically losing their minds and resorting to violence and theft. Walmart CEO Doug McMillan issued a stark warning on Tuesday. If theft does not slow down, the retailer will close stores across the country. We've already witnessed and experienced Walmart closing stores as it is. And we know what negative impacts that has to the community, the neighborhoods, the real estate values, uh, the 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 increased homeless activity in these areas that are not occupied anymore and folks' income and job and earning potential as jobs are already at risk of being replaced by AI automation and technology and situations like this, situations like these, the silly, stupid, ridiculously dumb actions by some select groups of individuals is going to further compound the problem and accelerate the solution by the employers, by the companies, by the businesses. And ultimately that means less work, less employment opportunities, and less money for the people who would rely on these jobs. Theft is an issue. And this is what uh, he told CNBC. It's it is higher than what it has historically been, okay? He added, if that's not corrected over time, prices will be higher and or stores will close. Uh, McMillan did not say during the interview how much money Walmart has lost in stolen items this year, but Walmart did not uh, also did not immediately reply to an insider request for that number, probably because it's relatively high really high. Um, but the world's largest retailer likely loses about 1% of its U.S. revenue or roughly $3 billion every year to stealing by customers and employees. Now, that's the other thing. Custom employees are further, <laughs> your employees are actually possibly making the situation even worse for you, your your fellow employ your coworkers, the the your, the people that are employed by these companies alongside of you, who have different ideas and agendas than what you have, which is literally just being able to show up, do your job, get by, get your paycheck every week, every two weeks, bi weekly, whatever it may be, uh, and be able to afford, you know, paying for your food, your groceries. Maybe doing a little bit of stockpiling, a little bit of prepping, uh, and just trying to uh, weather this storm of economic crisis as we rapidly approach economic collapse with massive, massive inflation, higher interest rates, uh, a shaky job market at best, layoffs happening left and right, uh, higher, higher taxes, more taxes coming for those who actually who conduct business or he have even ever received any money through PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. Uh, some of those transferring, uh, those those peer to, those peer to peer uh, money transferring apps. Anything over six hundred dollars, the IRS is coming after you. Armed IRS agents, folks. Look, not only are the threats in the retailers in the stores from theft, from armed threat theft, armed robbery. Folks just losing it up here and, you know, resorting last last resort. But the threat comes from uh, not even a branch of our government, the Internal Revenue System, the IRS. Those folks are coming out to get that money, folks. While companies and businesses are continuously finding new ways to prevent people from making money, folks. They're trying to find ways to prevent people from making money by eliminating positions, laying people off, going through hiring freezes. But at the end of the day, the ultimate goal 
You can argue with me, you can debate with me if you want, but I guarantee you, you can come back to this video possibly even six months, 12 months from now, 18 months from now, and if I'm wrong, come back to this video and you can come back and say, Kevin, you were absolutely wrong. But ultimately, we are seeing companies and businesses progressing towards a virtual, automated, technology-based business system that can uh, uh, produce greater efficiency, uh, incur lower overhead operating expenses and costs. As I told you, employees are very expensive. They are typically the most expensive overhead operating expense for uh, for businesses, and uh, ultimately try to whittle down and eliminate theft and loss and shrink, because computers aren't going to be stealing from you. Robots aren't going to steal from you. You know, at least not yet. <laughs> you give that AI enough time to learn. <laughs> Anything's possible. Uh, but it says that McMillan said the key to reducing theft is Walmart working with local law enforcement agencies and ensuring that those agencies are fully staffed. If you guys want to know more about that, comment on Squirrel Tribe's video and ask her about the uh, increased police activity that we witnessed at a Walmart uh, in Albuquerque, New Mexico, uh, where there was some, some gunfire going on while we were trying to do some shopping. Uh, the Benton, Arkansas-based retail giant is not the only retailer that has recently sounded the alarm on theft. Uh, missing inventory has reduced Target's gross margin by more than $400 million in 2022 compared with last year, and Target expects those profit losses to grow to $600 million by the end of the fiscal year. Target CFO, Chief Financial Officer Michael uh, Fiddle said in November during a company earning call. So, ladies and gentlemen, listen to me when I tell you this, okay? When when the job market is worse, when the economy as a whole is worse in 2023, you'll know why, okay? These are parts of a whole that are continuously pushing and driving businesses outside of the other forces that are occurring in conflicts around the world, Russia, Ukraine, China, North Korea, whatever it may be, the UK. Um, he, then we have the challenges here at home that are making it more difficult for businesses to stay in business and operate at a level of efficiency that can produce revenues and profits that make sense for these businesses to continue on doing what they're doing with, you know, outside influence from government getting involved with shit that they don't need to be getting involved with. Folks, this is it. Now, this is not the end of the world, but it is the end of the economy that we once knew it is the end of employment that we once knew and you can run for the hills N nothing wrong with that and a lot of folks that are planning to pack it up and head to the mountains and just hide out head to the woods and just hide out uh but that's not necessarily an option for everybody but at the end of the day even those who are planning to do that do realize and know that they have to they have to build up a reserve. They have to build up a financial cash reserve in order to prepare for that, stockpile for that, and dip out for that. And with jobs on the line and jobs at risk, folks, I really hope that you guys are paying attention about how money is made and how much of it's going to be needed to survive and how much harder it's going to get to, for that to happen before that happens. Because once it happens, it's too late. It says here that along with other retailers, we've seen a significant increase in theft and organized retail crime across our business. And this is Target CEO uh, Brian Cornell. And the, uh, rising retail theft could drive companies like Walmart to close stores or raise prices, uh, according to Doug McMillan, CEO of Walmart. And uh, theft is an issue. It's higher than what it has historically been, historically, historically been. Companies have faced increasingly organized and brazen thefts from retail stores in Palo Alto, California. In late November, two men stole devices from an Apple store and a large crowd of people making off with some $35,000 in a getaway car. And the best part about it, guys, oh, the best part about it is these, these fools are still wearing their silly face masks. So the odds of being able to identify these thieves will be next to impossible. Next to impossible, California, way to go with these stupid masks. But hey, at least they won't get <coughs> sick, right? You know? Oh, wait. Uh, that's what the jabs were for, right? <laughs>
<laughs> Look, I, I'm not trying to make fun of them or the situation, but it is comical uh, if we actually sit and think about the positions that we have literally put ourselves into. And I'm not saying you or I, but we collectively as a country, the elected officials, the leaders in power, it's comical to think about where we are based on what we thought we were going to get and what a lot of people voted for. That's all I'm saying. A lot of other people. That's If that's not corrected over time, prices will be higher and or stores will close. Stores will close. Um, and, you know, you got to get with it or get left behind. The only real solution here, like I said, is going to be finding ways to, number one, solidify your own income. Number two, uh, budget and save and invest so that you have a formidable solution down the road. You want your money making money for you. You want your money working for you. You want the economy working for you, not the other way around, because pretty soon you may not be able to work for the economy. Um, and then on top of that, you know, AI, technology, get with it, you know, um, and I also think, like what I said previously yesterday, security. I think security is probably going to be accelerated and 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 uh, increase in uh, value, especially now that we have transitioned back to you know these folks being out in the world, in the real world, and more people in this foot traffic while stores still exist. The security component is going to be huge. The physical security component is probably going to be huge in the interim. Once we actually do make this switch and this transition over to a more digital based society, then the cybersecurity is going to take over. So, folks, just a heads up, just a warning, get with it or get left behind. I'm not telling you what guys what to do. I just hope that you guys don't get wiped out and your families don't suffer as a result of this when you have someone here telling you guys what's coming down the pipe. And, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> This is this is unreal. Um, it's almost hard to believe, but you got to think like it's not just you. You know, it's not just you. Uh, these these companies, Walmart, Target, Apple, whoever it may be, whomever it may be, the companies that make these changes to their business operations and business models to protect their bottom lines, protect their profits, which we know is number one, protect their shareholders um, and their you know their stock values on the, on the New York Stock Exchange and Nasdaq and Dow. Look. It's not just you, okay? When these, when the, when this happens, okay? When the, our economy ultimately does collapse, it won't just be you. Your neighbors, you know, 70 percent of Americans right now are struggling to pay bills. They're, they're trying to charge st basic necessities on a credit card. You know, folks are falling behind. Okay, the economy more than likely will experience some form of collapse for some. The economy, let me repeat that, will more than likely experience some form of collapse for some in the very near future and i really hope it's not you i really hope it's not you i hope that you're doing what you what you need to be doing to prepare yourself uh to avoid this and uh we know what that is we know what that is it could you know there's a number of ways of doing it folks there's links in the description uh i know a lot of folks are interested in investing in precious metals and gold and silver and things like that uh stockpile your cash make sure you got it look you got to be ready on all fronts. You got to be prepared for anything. Be ready for anything and everything. Uh, better to have it, not need it, than need it and not have it. You see what I'm saying? So uh, violence is an increasingly important concern among retailers, including things like theft and gun violence. Uh, organized retail crime, which involves people acting as a network or team of some sort, is also a growing concern as... Uh, has been detailed throughout this report external theft and organized retail crime in particular is a significant and growing area of concern for retailers uh, and the let's see here McMillan said Walmart which has over 4,000 locations in the US primarily relies on local law law enforcement uh, and we have seen safety measures security measures that we've put in place by store location I think local law enforcement being staffed and being a good partner is part of the equation and that's normally how we approach it all right, so here's the problem with this, okay? I'm just going to end it with this. Here's the problem. Um, let's see here. In toys, in toys, sporting goods, apparel, categories like that, prices have come down more aggressively. We're still inflated, but we're not inflated nearly as much as we are in other categories. Those other categories are going to be food, folks. They're going to jack... See, they're, they're lowering the prices in the areas and in the, in the departments and the categories and the sectors of the stores that people are not spending their money and they're raising the prices on the areas that they are and that they have to in these necessities. Food, water, uh, chicken, eggs, rice, water, uh, milk, beef, 
whatever it is they're raising the price on the food okay those are the necessities you have to have those okay now what's going to happen is we're going to continue to see more price increases while these companies are looking for ways to eliminate the employees eliminate the stores uh move online digital ordering app-based ai technology fulfillment you guys need to watch that video i put up about the uh walmart grocery innovation that literally can produce a curbside pickup without having any employees to do it like it's it's, it's actually happening like it's being done um but the prices are going to continuously go up to make up for the loss in theft and shrink and employee uh stealing products employees allowing transactions to occur at cash registers and theft to occur through gift cards and in cash transactions and things like that these companies are not stupid they know what they're up against and they're going to solve the problem and the solution to the problem is getting rid of the people but in the meantime the prices are still going to go up as they're in this transition and you Mark my words, the prices are going to go up. Why? Because increased costs of security required. These cops are not free. The police working with local law enforcement are not free. You got to pay for them. So that added cost goes in to the, you know, the cost of goods sold, COGS, COGS, cost of goods sold. If anybody knows any general accounting, uh, accounting um, principles, the cost is going to go up, which ultimately is going to drive up the margin. If the margin is 25% profit margin, gross profit margin on these products, and the cost goes up, it's going up 25%. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. They're not going to add the cost and bring the price down and lower their margin. They can't. Uh, and at the same time, they're getting rid of employees or reducing their workforce. They're trying to lower their overhead. They're trying to do more with less while saving themselves from the unnecessary, uh, almost gross... Uh, amount of increase in theft as people start to realize and witness what's going on that they're not prepared for and instead of finding reasonable and more effective and much more safe and sustainable solutions they revert to the alternative of what we see here which is putting folks in quite a bind uh, especially these companies walmart uh, target Apple, just to name a few, expect to see them uh, making some drastic cuts, some drastic changes, impacting people in a huge way, more than likely negatively, uh, as they make this shift and this economic evolution, which I've been talking about for months. Folks, if you want to know how to get with it and not get left behind, feel free to hit me up. Links in the description. Come on over, join the network. We're working on ways to solidify and form solutions to improve people's income, finances, uh, introduce and produce multiple diverse income streams, work on budgeting, saving money, money investing, uh, fixing credit, being prepared for what is coming that we don't know what it is, but we know it's going to be t tougher than what it is now, more difficult than what it is today, harder than it was yesterday, and definitely more expensive than it has ever been. Uh, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but prices are going up. They're not going down. You guys take care, be safe, and I'll see you on the next one.